Hello ladies and gentlemen, I tweeted about this package this morning. All I know is that it is from Activision and uh, there was a little note on the shipping notification that I got last night that said COD PR, Call of Duty PR. So uh, I know that it's probably gonna be about Blackout because Blackout starts, uh, or the beta starts Monday on PS4 and then other consoles um, as the week goes. But um, I'm very, very excited. I don't know what it is yet. And uh, we're gonna get right into it right now and find out. Always gotta have a karambit on hand. One thing I did notice is it says lithium ion batteries. So something in here is electromechanic. <clears throat> That's a real word. Look it up. We're gonna see what it is. I actually was just watching, I'm even more hyped because I was just watching the uh, Treyarch live stream for Blackout and they were given some juicy details uh, like matches are going to be 25 to 30 minutes which I'm really happy with because PUBG can get really drawn out if you're not playing on um, the new map and you know just faster battle royales are what I'm all about. Oh my battery is about to die! Alright we're back so yeah I was watching the live stream and uh, I was getting really excited because they were talking about 25 to 30 minute match times and uh, what else did they talk about? Nothing too specific. They made a hint about Nuketown Island that you can like get underneath it, which uh, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be, if you remember on Nuketown, uh, there was like bunkers and stuff in the backyards. So I saw people in the Twitch chat saying, oh, you can probably get into the bunkers and maybe the bunker system is even like, you know, more elaborate and there's like a tunnel system and stuff. I don't know. I'm really, really, really hyped for Blackout, like to the point where it feels like back when like MW3 came out and I just want to go to the store and buy like 15 flats of energy drinks and just play the game all damn day. And that's probably pretty close to what's going to happen. So make sure you're ready for that because I will be live streaming the shit out of it. But anyways, let's get right into this package. Let's see what we got. What is that? Oh, that's a little, that's a little dab of glue right there. It looked, I don't know what that looked like, but let's see. Oh, it is blackout. Oh my lord, just the, just the logo is getting me excited. All right, let's see what it says. Make sure we can uh, read this on camera, show it, whatever. Sometimes important information is on this. Let's see. Um, okay. It says, collapse is imminent. Prepare wisely. Ooh, so I wonder, hmm. That almost sounds like this is gonna be like a bug out package type thing. Okay, like if you don't know what a bug out pack is, it's for people that are paranoid that the world's gonna end or whatever, and they always have like a bug out pack that they'll take, uh, you know, with survival gear in it and stuff like that. But it is blackout themed, so that is important. Oh my lord. Look at that beautiful backpack. Now this package was, let's make sure there's nothing hiding in here. No secrets from Treyarch. All right, I think we're good. Now I do know that this package was six pounds and obviously I can feel a little weight here. So I'm hoping there's gonna be some contents in the backpack, but just the backpack itself, very nice. What does that say? Rain cover? Okay, very cool. It's funny, uh, the trend now is these companies send out backpacks. I have like, a bajillion backpacks from different companies, which is kind of cool. I'll never have to buy another backpack again in my life. Oh God, I bumped the camera, I'm so sorry. Also, uh, fitting with the bug out theme, we have a little compass here with some paracord, which is very cool. Paracord can be used for all kinds of stuff in a survival situation. So, let's get digging through this thing and see if we've, uh, see if we've got anything. These back straps are nice and everything. I'm just impressed by the backpack still. Very cute. All right, let's get inside here. What do we got? It's gonna be a PS4 with a beta pre-installed. Okay, yeah, I was totally right. So this is this is a bug out package that they've sent. So here we have Osprey Hydraulics Reservoir, which is actually fucking awesome because uh, if you guys don't know what this is, basically it's a wearable. Oh, that's it fits. Bruh. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think this fits into the back of the backpack here. There's like a predetermined spot for it. 
because it's the same brand as the backpack. So that is awesome. I thought it was just one of them that you wore on your back, but it actually fits into this backpack. As you can see here, it's just a water reservoir and it probably holds quite a bit. I don't see, it probably says three liter right there, 100 ounces of water, that's a lot. Uh, but the reason that I'm excited for this is because you guys were so hyped about the squirrel hunt video and you guys want me to do more outdoor videos and all that stuff. Um, this would have come in super handy uh, to have have this on my back while I was hunting. Um, so this will probably definitely get some use and uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it is a bug out theme though. H2O, you see that right there? Huh. So I'll have to see how all that works. Looks like this might be a first aid kit. Yep, first aid. That's weird seeing the Black Ops 4 logo um, in orange, obviously, and usually it's orange and black themed everything, but a red first aid. So let's see what's inside our first aid. What do we got here? Just the standard, okay, I didn't know if there'd be like a bunch of blackout themed contents or something like that, but it looks like we just have triangular bandage and an emergency blanket. Yep, emergency rescue blanket, um, some alcohol pads, uh, some band-aids, but not band-aid brand. <laughs> Some adhesive bandages, sorry. Don't mean to name brand drop. And then we just got some like, um, some more bandage. Looks like there's a little pair of scissors in there. Even a pair of tweezers. So you're just your basic first aid kit, which is pretty cool. I actually don't have anything like that. So that'll be nice to have around the house. Or, you know, maybe I'll throw it in my truck or whatever. So that's cool. So we got the water reservoir and the first aid. And then let's see if there's any I definitely feel more stuff in here, but I think it's all sprinkled throughout different packages. These bastards. There's all kinds of inside pockets in here. We got, well, I, I don't even, I'm gonna have to like read an instruction manual to figure out this damn backpack. That's how advanced it is. So let's zip this guy back up if we can. There's something pretty heavy in the front. I'm wondering where the batteries come into play because the package had lithium ion on the front all right so let's this paracord bait bracelet is cool okay yeah lots of stuff in here all right let's see what we got let's see what we got here I wonder if it's just gonna be a portable hard drive that's kind of what it looks like executive power bank god I am just a good little gather can't have too many of these things I travel with them all the time <gasps> Ooh. I like that. I honestly wish, okay camera, you better be focusing. I honestly wish it said blackout on it, but that's still pretty damn awesome. The logo looks really nice with the matte black. This is actually a pretty good one too. It looks like it has um, the one amp output and the two amp output, which I'm pretty sure like most, there we go. Oh, nope, stupid camera. I'm pretty sure um, a lot of cell phones and stuff need the two the two amp output to charge, but uh, very cool. So you just got the little charging port there, which you're not gonna be able to see because fuck my camera. And then two USB ports to charge stuff off of. How many milliamps though? Let's see here, 5,000 milliamps. So that's actually pretty damn good. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I have the S9 plus. I don't remember what the battery size is on that, but probably get one good charge, if not almost a full charge off of this thing. So that is awesome. I will actually, uh, start traveling with that because the one that I have is a lot bigger and kind of annoying. Eh. And then you just got your little USB cable instructions. Cool. All right, let's see what else we've got. So that was probably the batteries. Unfortunately, it's not an RCXD or something, but I already have one of those back from the Black Ops 2 pre-order. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, what's this? We got a nice little leather leather pouch. It looks like a Looks like a little mini fanny pack. That I think that's actually, you're supposed to put that on your belt, looks like. Okay, what's in here? I don't have a guess for this one. Soap, it's gonna be Black Ops soap. Let's see what we got. <gasps> Ooh, little binoculars! And a microfiber cloth to clean. Very nice. Let's see, just a, Nice little compact pair of binocs. Some binoc knocks. You guys see in there? Of course you can't. You can see through the opposite way? Not really. But, let's see. Oh, they're all wrapped up. 
Here we go. So they should, yeah. So they expand, and then you've got your little zoom in, zoom out. Wait, is that zoom and zoom out, or is that focus? Uh, that's a focus, okay. But, very cool, so I got a nice little pair of binoculars. Let's put those back in our little bag. Been nice. Oh, and our cloth, our cloth for cleaning. Don't need the, there's a little uh, silica gel packet in there, we don't need that. So we'll shove that back inside. Maybe, you know what, fuck that, we'll do that later. And then, what else we got in here? Oh, nice, it's a little torch. Is it a lantern and a torch? The way you can hang it, maybe. But so, obviously the Black Ops 4 logo. Oh, no pre-installed batteries? Come on, Vaughn. You're getting cheap on me, bro. Oh God, I'm breaking things. You know what? Oh, 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 that little piece of plastic. You have to remove it to make the connection. Now she should work. I don't know if you can hear that, but this is actually like an aluminum, I think. So we got a dimmer. It says dimmer, zoom in, zoom out. Oh, so you can do like a wide. Look at that roll, eh? How do I? Eh? Okay, there we go. Ooh, very nice. So you can make it like really tiny. Really tiny, looks like that's about as tiny as you can make it. And then you can make it a, a wider, uh, you know, standard flashlight. So, very cool. You can't go wrong with these little flashlights. Throw them in your uh, in your glove box, uh, whatever. Leave them in the leave one in the garage, all that kind of stuff. Lights go out, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, all right, so it looks like that little pocket is now empty. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, maybe down here. How the hell do I get in there? What is this? I don't know if this is. Call of Duty related, it looks like it might just be part of the backpack. What the hell is this? Little, uh, rainproof, like, bag? I guess you can just kind of, because it's, like, attached. So I guess you just kind of put this on the outside of your backpack, and then it's waterproof. So that's really cool. I figured it was just going to be, like, a Call of Duty shirt. There's nothing else in there. All right. Let's see, that's probably it. I think that's it. So there we go, we got the backpack. Uh, God, I'm just gonna hit that as many times as I can. We got the backpack, the power bank, the binoculars, the first aid, the water kit, and that's it. That's our package. So thank you so much, Treyarch, Call of Duty. I appreciate you guys very much for sending me stuff like this. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the little video about it. If I find anything else hiding in one of these pockets or something, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Thanks again. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. My eyes feel like they're coming out of my head. I can't feel my mouth at all. Oh my fucking God. You can get <coughs> anything on savagejerky.com if you use code HOVA at checkout for 15% off. Let's go.